When I began my digital art journey, getting my tablet set up was quite the hassle. The instruction manual was garbage and I was always running into some issues. So I'm gonna show you how to configure your Huion tablet to your liking. We're talking about keyboard shortcuts, digital pen setup, establishing a work area, tablet settings, all that. By the way, if you haven't already downloaded the drivers and connected your tablet to your computer successfully, then you may wanna watch this video first, then come back here, of course. So as you start to draw digitally more and more, you'll want to start using things like undo, pan, rotate, color pick, increasing and decreasing the size of your drawing tools, and the list goes on. Memorizing these keyboard shortcuts just makes your workflow like a thousand times faster. Just imagine having to reach your mouse to just like activate your brush. I couldn't imagine that. Well, if your tablet has these little press keys on the side, then things get really spicy. What I mean by that is you can map your keyboard shortcuts to these buttons and you don't have to reach for your mouse or your keyboard majority of the time. Let's do that right now. Once you open up the drivers, you should be greeted with a window that looks like this. Uh, to set up your press keys, all you gotta do is just go to this section called press keys. Then it's as simple as choosing which button you wanna map a certain shortcut to. Let's just choose this button for example. I have control Z set to it, but let's say if you wanna change it, we're just gonna click on the button and then we're gonna choose this area right here and we're gonna see this window so as you can tell there are a lot of things you, you can do right here give it a custom name you can uh you know change the shortcut like so a um, bunch of other stuff feel free to explore if you're feeling uh, no if you're feeling adventurous but just to keep it short simple and sweet we're gonna focus on this area right here so if you want to change whatever's inside of here just have to click on this button clear string and also you want to deselect uh any of these check boxes if they just happen to be checked so if i want the letter z in here all i have to do is just hit z on my keyboard and then just uh hit okay so if you want to choose any of these options up here and you don't just want to add a single letter as a as a keyboard shortcut then you can just click it like so and it's gonna add control plus or shift plus or alt plus or windows plus to get the idea all you need to do next is just type in the letter or key that you want in this command so just z and simple as that now i know how to do keyboard shortcuts so the mappings for my keyboard shortcuts are as follows i use alt for the color picker in photoshop i use v for increasing my brush size i use c for decreasing my brush size i use Control z for undoing which is something you're going to be doing for Eternity. I use space for panning across my canvas and I use R to rotate my canvas. And I just use a scroll bar for zooming in and out. So your mappings are all dependent on your personal preference and how often you use these keyboard shortcuts while you're drawing. So I just recommend you go in there, get your hands dirty, and uh, set it up to your liking. Okay, let's go through the digital pen setup. So if we just click on this area, digital pen, um, you'll see this little diagram and these two boxes over here. We're going to focus on this diagram of the pen first. Uh, this is pretty useful if you want to put some shortcuts on the buttons that are on your pen and what i do is i just put e for eraser and b for brush on these buttons and it's pretty useful if you want to like switch back and forth between the two and i do that a lot uh this drop down active inactive i i guess um it's like a way of like activating or deactivating the pen tip but i don't know why you would want to do that want to change the buttons or add like a new uh shortcut to them just click on either box i'll click on this one for example and it's just the same uh just the same window as before so i'm gonna click in this text field here and all i have to do is just clear a string and then you can just type in any key that you want here i'm just gonna put e back and then i'm gonna hit okay and that's how you set up the buttons on your pen okay let's move on now so these two boxes over here we got one box for setting your pressure sensitivity and we got one box for testing your pressure so the first box is like a little line graph on the x-axis is the amount of input and the y-axis is the amount of output even though the the freaking tablet doesn't show you that so by moving these little boxes around you can determine how much output you're gonna get based on how much input you put in so by input i mean how hard you press your tablet against the screen so if i have like an upward slope like this the more and more input i put in the more and more output so as an example if i have my my brush right here i'm pressing like really light right now and as you can tell i have like some pretty like light light strokes and i'm pressing a little harder and harder and harder and this is the hardest I'm pressing right now. So I think this is pretty useful if you're like doing like some sketching or something. And if you want to have like, you want to change like the line weights and stuff. Now if you have a graph like this, then you don't have to press your pen down so hard to get an exorbitant amount of output. So I'm pressing pretty light right now. And as you can tell, the line is like pretty visible. It's pretty opaque. I have to like press like super, super, super light in order for it to be more transparent. And I'm not even able to do that. 
So if you're light-handed, then you want to get a graph that looks something like this. And if you're heavy-handed, then you want to get a graph that looks something like this. It's like upward sloping. But this is all personal preference. You just got to get in there and like find out what works for you. Now I'm just I'm just doing my job. I'm just showing you how all this stuff works. And you may say I don't like any of this stuff. So you can just click on this button right here and it restores you to uh, the default settings. Box down here is just for uh, pressure testing. So you can just draw in here and this little bar will show like how hard you're pressing and you can use this to you know, adjust your sensitivity accordingly. Using a lot of big words here. And to clear this box after you're done like you know, putting your gobbly goop in here, just uh, click this button here and it'll clear everything. Once you're done with all that, just hit apply and then you're good to go. All right, so now we're moving on to the work area. So we're just gonna click this section right here. I really wouldn't worry about all of this stuff over here to the left and to the right. I really only focus on the stuff in the middle. So this is pretty useful if you're working with multiple displays uh, like I am. And since you have a tablet that has a screen, it wouldn't make much sense for you to be like drawing on here and like looking up or looking anywhere like at your cursor you want your cursor to be on your tablet so you have to set that work area so all you have to do is just click on this drop down and then just go through each of them and find out which display is your is your tablet so display 2 is my uh display tablet so you just want to choose display 2 or whatever your display is for your tablet and then you just choose monitor calibration and you just click on these little target thingies crosshairs whatever call of duty crosshairs or something whatever I don't, I don't know what they are don't know what the heck i'm talking about also doing monitor calibration is pretty useful if your cursor is practicing social distancing for some reason and it's like six feet away from your pen monitor calibration should do the trick and put your cursor right below your pen tip after you click on all of them then you should see your cursor appear on your tablet you know, as you hover the pen over your your screen and once you're done setting up all of this you just have to click on apply that ladies and gentlemen is how you set up your work area uh, finally, there are some like extra hardware settings we can go over. If you want to access the settings for your Hui on tablet, you can just hold this button down until the settings appear. You can use these buttons to navigate your settings. And as you can tell, there are a bunch of things that you can configure. But I really only mess with the brightness. This is very useful if I'm like working at night and I, I don't want to go blind. That being said, feel free to get your door of the Explorer on and uh, do some exploring in the settings. Right, you know what the deal is. If you found this video helpful, if you found it entertaining or, um, or, or something, make sure you leave a like leave a comment consider subscribing to the channel and hitting the bell so you don't miss a single Enderman classic check out the description for some pretty cool links join the discord server and uh yeah that's all i got for you guys today this is Enderman from Enderman arts signing off